My name is Ed Druitt. I live in Hembury in northwest Bristol and I'm a freelance naturalist uh, and broadcaster. So in front of us here we've got a lion jawbone and I've chosen this because it tells an incredible story of Bristol's past, what the environment and habitat would have been like here in Bristol for lions and the animals they would have eaten to have actually lived here. And for me, that kind of story and the, the, the clue of what it's telling us about Bristol's past just absolutely fascinates me and I think it's something that, that people just don't always realise. If we actually look at the jawbone itself, it's about 10 inches long or so, it's quite thick, it's got a wonderful, the kind of distinctive canine tooth, really. The, the, you know, the one that you see when a cat or a, a dog might be snarling or sort of open its mouth to you. The big sort of grabbing tooth. We've got that there. It's a little bit cracked, but it's looking good nonetheless. A lot of the teeth are missing, but there's still one of the sort of the crunching teeth there. But really, you know, it's enough to be able to know that that's a lion and that would have have been living here. This one actually comes from Uphill Cave near Western Supermare, but, but you know, all along the sort of men dips and the surrounding areas around Bristol, there would have been lions and sort of other associated animals living there. And one thing I think that I, that I'm always very curious about is how Bristol has changed over thousands of years. So not just hundreds of years in terms of how people have changed Bristol, but also the fact that, you know, we used to be in a different part of the world, we used to be sort of down near the equator and, and as a result, you know, the whole of Bristol's environment was totally different. And for me, this lion jawbone, along with some other animals here that it would have eaten, uh, really just brings together that fascination of crumbs, you know. We actually had lions here with elephants here and so forth.